February 18th, 2013. Writing from my heart. My dear friends, the conditions here get so very difficult that my eyes get blurry, my body does not have the strength to walk, and my steps become very weak and shaky. Various bullying groups, the psychological warfare, almost a year of not seeing my family, physical violence, actions committed to humiliate me, insults, being mocked, being confronted with extremists in the prison who create another prison within the prison walls, and the death threats. It is interesting that because I am a Christian pastor, I am carefully watched. I am expected to smile at them despite what is being done and to understand why they are doing all of these things. But, of course, I can clearly see what is going on and because I want to serve God, I see all of these difficulties as golden opportunities and great doors to serve. There are empty containers who are thirsty for a taste of the living water and we can quench their thirst by giving them Jesus Christ. Maybe you are also in such a situation, so pray and seek God that he would use you and direct you in the pressures and difficulties of your lives. There are those who are enemies of the living Bible and do not want to hear. They are trying to put me under such horrific pressures that are sometimes unbearable, so that they can show me that my faith is empty and not real. And after all of these pressures, after all of the nails they have pressed against my hands and feet, they are only waiting for one thing, for me to deny Christ. But they will never get this from me. This is why the Bible is truth and they are in the way of destruction. There is another group who does not know the gospel of truth. Instead of truly listening and meditating on God's word, they are just waiting to see how I react to all of their pressures and persecution, what will come out of me during these intense times. But again, this is another golden opportunity for me to shine the light of Christ in this dark world and to let God use me. Yesterday when I was singing worship songs, the head of my cell room attacked me in order to stop me from praising, but in response I hugged him and showed him love. He was shocked. It is during these harsh conditions that I deeply need God's saving grace so that I can be the fragrant scent of Christ in the dark house of Evan Prison. I have often seen the shining morning star in the darkness of this prison, and I have seen his amazing and supernatural works. Oh, how beautiful is seeing the light of the shining morning star of Christ in such evil darkness. So, see your golden opportunities and pressures and difficulties. See the shining morning star in the dark times of your life. I love him. He is gracious, merciful, and righteous to me. I now know that I have not been forgotten and that we are together in this path. God gives me grace. This is my message for the church. Stay strong for his glory. He will come back soon. Be with God and give your best efforts for his kingdom. Pastor Saeed, servant of Jesus Christ in chains for endurance of the gospel. I love you all.